Hey, sports card fans, it's John Wade Boggs fan. Hope you're all doing well. The follow-up to the 1951 release that included multiple sports, the 1952 Burke Ross set ditches the non-baseball subjects and pushes the checklist to the next level. The 1952 Burke Ross set consists of 72 cards, each one 2 inches by 3 inches. Manufactured by the Burke Ross Company of New York City, card fronts have a posed, hand-painted color likeness of the player. Again featuring the Hit Parade of Champions title, the 1952 Burke Ross cards are larger and the photo quality is better in comparison to the 1951 set. The cards share a strong similarity to the 1951 Bowman design, including several of the same player images. The most notable example of this is the Mickey Mantle card, whose 1951 Bowman rookie card image is prominently featured in the Burke Ross set. However, the colorized black and white photos feature a tint that gives the cards a darker appearance and diminished clarity. Some cards feature the player's name in white cursive text. The card backs are quite simple. A thin black frame encloses basic information including the player's name, position, team, personal data, and a line of statistics from the 1951 season. A headline at the top proclaims the set as the hit parade of champions. The cards are also not numbered. Mickey Mantle is the top card in the set and other Hall of Fame options include Jackie Robinson, Willie Mays, Joe DiMaggio, and Ted Williams. The DiMaggio and Williams cards were not available in the 1952 Bowman or Top sets, making the Burke Ross examples highly collectible. The overall 1952 Burke Ross checklist seems to confirm the 72 cards were distributed around the New York area, as the New York Yankees, New York Giants, and Brooklyn Dodgers are heavily covered, and many of the other MLB teams have just one representative, if any. One main difference for the set is that while the 1951 edition was sold in panel form, the 1952 product was issued as individual cards. The basic printing process, however, appears to have remained the same, given that the cards showcase perforation remnants on both the top and bottom. Although there is not much complexity to the release, a few errors and variations are in play. Nellie Fox and Ewell Blackwell are matched to the wrong backs, and two different poses are available for the Phil Rizzuto card, bunting and swinging. The 1952 Burke Ross cards have seen an uptick in interest in recent years, and there is strong demand for high-graded copies. These can be tougher to track down because of centering issues that plague the product. In this video, I'm going to show the top 10 most valuable cards from the 1952 Burke Ross set based on their PSA 5 values. I'll also give the values of those cards in higher grades, as well as the population count of those grades. Now, as a side note, because most of the cards have very low population counts, the values in some grades might not reflect current prices since it may be a year or two or even more since a copy in that grade has been sold. Now, before I get to the top 10, here are the cards that just missed the top 10. At number 15, the Monty Irvin card. At number 14, the Bobby Door card. At number 13, the Richie Ashburn card. At number 12, the Red Shandies card. And at number 11, the Larry Doby card. So, which cards made the top 10 list? Let's go find out. At number 10, we have the Roy Campanella card. In a PSA 5, there have been 32 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $200. There have been 20 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $262. There have been 19 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $355. There have been 23 graded a PSA 8. They sell for around $682. 
There have been six graded A PSA 9. The last PSA 9 sale took place in January of 2023 through Memory Lane and sold for $4,093, placing the Rory Campanella at the number five spot in terms of PSA 9 graded copies on this top 10 list. And there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Roy Campanella card. At number nine, we have the Mini Minoso card. In the PSA 5, there have only been eight graded copies with a current VCP average price of $209. There have been 13 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $285. There's only been one graded a PSA 7. That last one has sold for $294. There's also been only one graded A PSA 8. The only PSA 8 sale in VCP's database took place in May of 2022 through Heritage and sold for $2,520. And there has not been a PSA 9 or 10 graded copy of the Mini Minoso card. At number 8, we have the Stan Musial card. In a PSA 5, there have been 23 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $221. There have been 52 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $409. There have been 32 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $905. There have been 29 graded a PSA 8. They sell for around $1,289. There have only been two graded a PSA 9. The last PSA 9 sale took place in January of this year through Memory Lane and sold for $6,432, placing the Stan Musial at the number 4 spot in terms of PSA 9 graded copies on this list. And there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Stan Musial card. At number 7, we have the Pee Wee Reese card. In a PSA 5, there have been 18 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $272. There have been 21 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $249. There have been 14 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $425. There have been 22 graded a PSA 8. They sell for around $688. There have only been four graded a PSA 9. The last PSA 9 sale took place in May of 2022 through Heritage and sold for $3,120. And there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Pee Wee Reese card. At number six, we have the Gil Hodges card. In the PSA 5, there have been 15 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $305. There have been 13 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $158. There have been 19 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $200. Both of those were probably older sales. There have been 39 PSA 8 copies. They sell for around $425. There have only been two graded a PSA 9. The last PSA 9 took place in May of 2022 through Heritage Auction and sold for $1,320. And there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Gil Hodges card. At number 5, we have the Joe DiMaggio card. In the PSA 5, there have been 27 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $648. There have been 58 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $801. There have been 64 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $1,185. There have been 20 graded a PSA 8. They sell for around $2,880. There have only been three graded a PSA 9. The last PSA 9 sale took place in May of 2022 through Heritage and sold for $63,000, placing the Joe DiMaggio at the number two spot in terms of PSA 9 graded copies on this list. And there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Joe DiMaggio card.
At number four, we have the Ted Williams card. In a PSA 5, there have been 37 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $1,267. There have been 54 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $1,672. There have been 41 graded APSA 7. They sell for around $2,340. There have been 21 graded APSA 8. They sell for around $6,430. Now, while there has been one graded APSA 9, there are no reported sales of that PSA 9 copy in VCP's database. And there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Ted Williams card. At number three, we have the Jackie Robinson card. In a PSA 5, there have only been 17 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $2,175. There have been 30 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $3,850. There have been 26 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $5,415. There have been 21 graded APSA 8. They sell for around $13,502. Now there have been three graded APSA 9. The last PSA 9 sale took place in May of 2022 through Heritage Auction and sold for $96,000, placing the Jackie Robinson at the number one spot in terms of PSA 9 graded copies on this list. And there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Jackie Robinson card. At number two, we have the Willie Mays card. In a PSA 5, there have been 18 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $3,840. There have been 31 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $5,760. There have been 39 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $6,535. There have been 33 graded APSA 8. They sell for around $9,300. There have been 7 graded APSA 9. The last PSA 9 sale took place in November of 2023 through PWCC and sold for $42,000, placing the Willie Mays at the number 3 spot in terms of PSA 9 graded copies on this list. And there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Willie Mays card. And at number one, you probably guessed it, the Mickey Mantle card. In a PSA 5, there have been 48 graded copies with a current VCP average price of $6,786. There have been 49 graded a PSA 6. They sell for around $7,200. There have been 52 graded a PSA 7. They sell for around $10,800. There have been 23 graded A PSA 8. They sell for around $40,800. Now, there has not been a PSA 9 or 10 graded copy of the Mickey Mantle card. However, there was a PSA 8.5 that sold on June 8, 2021 for $168 thousand dollars through golden auction and there is only one the highest graded copy for the mickey mantle card is that psa 8.5 well there you go the top 10 most valuable cards from the 1952 burke ross set as always would love to know what you think in the comments about the 52 burke ross set in general and the cards that made the top 10 list and stay tuned for next week's episode when I take a look at the 1954 Dandy set. And if you missed either of the last two episodes in this series, you can check them out right here. With that, that's all I have for you. So until next time, thanks for watching.